Kalalal, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Akim who are sincerely pushing this word in our sincerity and honesty. I just want to do a, a small response to um to to a recent recent um development. You know, Donald Trump, the Orange President, has um, declared or announced um, trade tariffs on imports of aluminum and steel. You know, basically. Impose it's, it's basically a form of economic sanction, you know, on the rest of the world, you know, claiming that the, the move is to um is to make is to make the American economy grow into um into one of the um the superpowers again, you know. But um the, the, the remove of course is, is of course for of course sparking um backlash from the international community, threatening um threatening um what you call it now retaliatory actions and sanctions against the US, you know, tariffs on also US companies that are based overseas. You know. So basically what we have on our hand is um is is another trade war, you know, which is of course sparking even more the conflict that's leading into the third world war, which is um Armageddon, the war of Armageddon or Arm Armagadwan, the mountain of troops, you know. So we 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 we're, we're drawing even ever closer to, to this judgment. Right, to the fall of Mr. Babylon the Great, which is America. All right, so let's get into the article, right, and um, get into a few a few precepts that back that up. All right, so this is um this is from the Guardian posted today. Trump escalates trade war rhetoric with threat to tax Europe made cars. All right, Tr Donald Trump has escalated the threat of a trade war with Europe, warning that the U.S. will slap a tax on cars made on the continent if the European Union retaliates against tariffs on imports of steel and aluminum. The American president made a surprise announcement this week that he intends to impose a 25% tariff on steel and a 10% on aluminum in an attempt to protect the US industry. The European Commis Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker said the bloc was prepared to respond forcefully by targeting US imports such as Harley-Davidson motorbikes, Levi's jeans and Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Right. So what um what the what the orange president is doing, you know, is, is further isolating, you know, America from the worst of the world basically, from even their allies. Not only um are, are China and Russia and uh, and all their um their allies, you know, upset about what, what Trump is doing, you know, but also the US allies are upset, Canada, the UK, you know, the EU, you know, because they're all hurt by this sanction. You know, but the or the orange president doesn't care, you know, he's uh, he's on an, an impetulant um, rant to try and, and, and salvage what's left of the American economy, which is which is not um it's not possible. You know, as the scripture said, you know, we would have healed Babylon, you know, but she's not healed. There's no healing for Babylon, you know, there is no making America great again. There is only flushing America down the toilet and destroying it. Right? You know, according to prophecy. Right, let's so let's get into another article. This is from the Financial Times. You know, I'll post the art the link to the articles in post production so brothers can read it too. You know, no exceptions for Donald Trump's U.S. steel tariffs. Top U.S. trade aid warns allies such as Canada and U.K. they will have to pay. A top trade advisor to President Donald Trump has said that there will be no exceptions from the U.S. tariffs on steel and aluminum imports as the EU prepared retaliatory measures and officials warned of the risk of a transatlantic trade war. All right. So even the allies are upset about the, um, the, the definition that, that Donald Trump has made so that means that when when this when this world war kicks off and inevitably it will you know between um between America and basically the rest of the world there will be no one to come to the aid of America because moves like this are further isolating and 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 building tension between ties between America and EU you know and also their 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 um their North American you know allies you know canada who who they share a border with you know basically isolating them using this uh, this this stupid decision right so what we're seeing is a is an is an acceleration toward the downfall of, of america you know? all right let's get into a few precepts this is isaiah 9 and verse 3 and the spirit of egypt shall fail the mist thereof right and i will destroy the council thereof because what's happening now is that the u.s is making a bunch of stupid decisions I mean, but then, then again, what else can you expect with a president such as Donald Trump, right? And they, and they shall seek to idols and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards, right? But what? They will ultimately be destroyed, 
right? This is Isaiah 47 verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Right? America is no more a superpower, yo. America is outgoing. Right? They're, they're, they're losing so much, you know, economically. They're losing so much um, militarily. You know, we just see Russia announced the other day that they have nuclear weapons that are capable of, of, um, of traveling the globe, yo at hypersonic speeds and America is trying to keep up with that right so even militarily America is being um, eclipsed you know by Russia and their allies yo so economically they are also being eclipsed and this is this this move is a desperate grasp at straws you know to salvage what's left of a broken economy right but there is no salvaging the US economy yo right it's, it's on the way out Babylon is on the way out right the prophecies um, clearly speak of it right? there is no salvaging it yo no matter what this orange president does, no matter what anybody does, right, the destruction of of America is set in stone. You know, the the word of the Lord has 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 gone forth, right, and it will not return unto him void. America will be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Will become a a desolate wasteland, you know, right, and all of this is in, is in preparation for that. Is leading up to that, you know. Verse two: Take the millstones and grind meal, uncover thy locks, make beard the egg the leg, Salakia, uncover the thigh and pass over the rivers. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Right? Because ultimately, the, the, the Spirit of the Lord, the Ha'obah Hashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kodash, are the ones that are, that are doing this, yo. The Lord is the one through his angels that's guiding the decisions that's being made on the planet, yo. The Lord is the one that's stirring up jealousy as a man of war, according to the precept, yo, according to Isaiah 42 and verse, I believe it's 13, if I'm not mistaken. The Lord is the one stirring up jealousy. Between the nation, between America and its allies, and between America and their and their um and their counterparts, which are their, their their adversaries, yo, right? And ultimately, the Lord said, "What I will not meet thee as a man. The Lord will meet thee as as a, as a power, as a god, as as blazing destruction, yo. As for our demon, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of Chaldeans, for thou shall no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms, right?" America will no more be called the superpower, you know, the um, the, 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 the delicate woman who ruled the world. No. No more, yo. Right? This is Obadiah 1 and verse verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All the men of thy confederacy, confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. Right? And this is showing that, that, that this prophecy is going to be fulfilled even more perfectly, yo. Because with this last decision that that Trump has made, is further alienating his um the men that are that are at peace with him, you know the EU, you know and um and, and Canada, you know and other allies like South Korea, right? They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him, right? There is <laughs> there is no understanding in the Irish president, yo, none whatsoever, right? This is Revelation chapter 18, start of verse 1. And after these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hole of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Right, Babylon is fallen, yo. America is, is fallen. And soon it will become that desolate wasteland when all these nations fire nuclear weapons on it, yo. Right? And the Spirit of the Lord will guide those missiles so that each one of them will hit the target, yo. Right? For all nations have drunk and of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through, her, through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues, right? For for the simple of understanding out there, this is not talking about physically removing yourself from America, yo, right? Because you have some some unlearned men who are teaching that you have to go back to the land of Israel in order to be delivered, right? Physically, but this is talking about spiritually, yo. Spiritually, take yourself out of Babylon, yo. Right? Don't don't be conformed to the system. Don't be conformed with, with, with the luxuries and the pleasures of, of this life, yo. Seek ye the kingdom of the Lord. Right, so that when, when all this destruction comes to pass, the Lord will deliver you up, yo. Those chariots will come, you know, and beam you up, right? And you'll stand above the ozone layer and watch the destruction of America, yo. 
for her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. The cup in the cup which she has filled, fill to her double. How much she hath lived, which she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and famine and mourning, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her. Right? So the Lord is, is the Lord is the one judging America at the end of the day. Oh. The Lord is the one who who was who whose spirit is moving the decisions that are making upon the face of the earth, the geop geopolitical moves, you know, all these chess moves that are that are edging closer and closer to World War Three. The Lord is the one that's dictating the movements, yo. And ultimately the Lord is the one that has this decided, you know, America's fate and that's total destruction. Right? Lastly, it says, um, verse 9 and 10, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off for fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, for that great city, that mighty city, for in one hour thy judgment is come. All right? So with that, you know, I hope this lesson was edifying. You know, Tawada Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakai.